guys, it's Summers here and welcome to this 10th uh, episode of our On The Road Career Mode series with Warsaw as we absolutely smashed through the, the first season. As you can see here we are looking at the scouting network and send, resending the scouts back out on a, on a mission to try to find some more talent. I'm going to send this scout here, uh, Lance Evans, out to Sweden and we are going to look for an attacker. We've then got Connor Murphy. And we are going to send him down to Italy for a playmaker. That's all three scouts there uh, performing their tasks out on the continent. As we head out to the first sim game of this episode, and obviously we're at home at the best got, and we're facing off against Rochdale. Uh, Gordon with the opening goal there for us on the fourth minute, but it's followed up quite swiftly by Will Braham uh, for Rochdale. As we head on in towards the second half, and we go 2-1 two, two down now, Will Braham getting a second for Rochdale, and we're now obviously in search of another goal to, to try to bring things level. Gordon gets another one for us and rescues us right in the dying moments, 84th minute, and that is a decent result at the end of the day, uh, considering we, we were 2-1 down. Heading on out to the training scenarios, we're going to swap Paz out, he's now up to a 61, and we've got uh, some younger players here that really need to get into the training action. We've got Ender McMahon, uh, another Irish player that we've accrued he's on 52 at the moment so let's see if we can get some additional growth out of him so move into the first played game of this episode today we're going to play play against blackpool at bloomfield park So here's our lineup for the game. Thank you. Enjoy the game. We've got Chewy in goal, Wilson at right back, Sangar and Paz in the middle, with Peters at left back, Ishmael's out on the right with Dobson and Newman in midfield. Uh, Ginnelly's going to play on the left hand side, and Ferrier and Parker are, are going to face off up front. Goal kick here for Blackpool, kicking it long. Oh, big header there from Paz. Up, right up to Ferrier who takes the ball off down the wing, waits for the overlap, then knocks it down the line to Ginnelly. Ginnelly knocks it into the box. Ooh, key, uh, defender manages to get the diving header away. It's knocked back here to Wilson. Wilson into the box. Ferrier on the end of it. For the life of me, I thought that was in. Dobson finds Ishmael out on the wing, knocks it into the box. Defender manages to get there though, just ahead of. Ginnelly, who was trying to get in there on the overlap. Ferrier waits for Ginnelly on the overlap. He goes towards goal, strikes it, but can't manage to convert the effort. Second half, Peters here, our young youth academy left back, manages to find Dobson on the edge of the box. He strikes it, drifts wide. Blackpool now with an effort towards the end of the game, and Chewie's had to be called into action there and push that one round the post. Ginnelly, edge of the box, finds Dobson. Decent strike, but the keeper manages to make a save. Knocks this one into the box. Ferrier can't quite get his head on it, but it comes back out to Ginnelly. Ginnelly puts it back in, and there we go. Dobson's managed to pull us into the lead with a decent enough header. It's kind of all been our game, this one. Uh, it would have been a shock, to be honest, if we'd have gone behind, at least. And uh, Dobson there getting himself on the score sheet and us 1-0 up. Nice header past the keeper there as the ball came back in from the corner that wasn't really that successful in the first place. Ishmael's got some space down on the right-hand side of the pitch here. Going to cut slightly in and knock it into the box. Ginnelly was waiting, but defender manages to just get there ahead of him. Blackpool, 85th minute, knocking the ball around quite nicely, trying to get some pressure on. Sangar tries to clear. God, 
really are under the cost there and we manage to get the ball away finally and Ishmael finds his way down the line, knocks it inside to Parker. Parker with a lob free ball up over the top towards Ginnelly. <laughs> really, really poor there from the defender and Ginnelly capitalises, takes the ball away from the defender who was having an absolute mare at that point and then he just strokes it home. 2-0 up. What was he playing out there? That oh, it bounced off his knee. <laughs> He'll be having absolute nightmares about that one. Ginnelly though, calm under pressure and just uh, finesse shot into the top corner. So yeah, as we can see, a 2-0 victory. Blackpool's fans obviously not uh, very happy about that, but our players are and we're, we're, we're happy with that result. Ginnelly getting a 9.6 there. Eight shots for us, four on target. We absolutely slaughtered uh, Blackpool. So can't see why the fans are, are really having a problem with it but there we go uh, Dobson also got an 8.5 Newman 7.1 Paz and Sangar and Peters also having good performances so the youth players they're having a really good showing and quite pleased with how they how they all performed in that match moving out to the training once more just going to continue with what we've got in the slots here and simulate that uh, Quinn's gone up by one overall now. He's sitting on 62, the young Irishman. He is going to be uh, quite the player, I think, and I'm really looking forward to getting him into the, the squad now. As we move straight out to the next game, it's a, uh, a Midlands derby, as we can see from the flag waving there. We're away from home, obviously, because we're playing. We're at the Rico Arena against Coventry City. Our lineup for the game. We've got Chewy in goal, Wilson at right back, Sangar and Paz in the middle, with Peters at left back, Ishmael, Dobson, Newman and Ginnelly in midfield, with Parker and Ferrier up front. So we're basically unchanged uh, from our last performance. Let's hope that we can have a similar result in this one. Oh, Peters there gets caught out. And he's slow getting back to the player as well. Oh, a really good save there from Chewy. Gets down well, uses his feet, and it goes out of play. Pressure again from Coventry, and they've made it tell this time. Sangar couldn't quite get the header away out of the box, and they've managed to capitalise on that, that opportunity with a really good strike into the bottom corner. Has got caught out, went out towards the, the wing. That drew, drew Sangar across. His header wasn't good enough and only dropped to the edge of the box. And the Coventry man was sat there waiting to pluck a, away at that opportunity. Ferrier knocks the ball back to Ginnelly. Oh, yes! Get in there, Ginnelly. Fantastic strike from the edge of the box there. Really good interception though from Ferrier and a good lay back off to, to Ginnelly who then just absolutely smashes that one home. Boom. Get in there. Keeper does get his fingertip to it as well though but it's only enough to literally push it aside. Coventry here with some more pressure. Nice turn. Nice knock across the... Oh and it's... I thought that was in, deflected, and I thought it was going in off the deflection, but luckily it didn't. Once again, the pressure building on the edge of the box here as Coventry try to open us up, but that this time they've taken a shot from distance and it goes off and around the post. Ooh, Sangar there, a level in his man, and he gets a yellow card for that. Well, those kind of fouls where, where you kind of accept it to be honest because it helped us out got us out of a sticky situation that could have opened up into some more players we level another player on the edge of the box but this time we managed to get away with that one 
Coventry. Oh, what a save by Chewy at the near post. Peters on the overlap. Gets it in the box. Parker's there waiting. 2-1. Really good play there by Peters out on the left-hand side. On the overlap, yeah. Gets the ball across to, Pe to Peters and then Peters manages to get it into Parker. Peter Parker. Yeah, that's a nice combination, isn't it? We're under pressure once more from Coventry. And oh, that blazed that one over the bar to coming towards the end of this game. Nice ball into Parker, who manages to knock it off to Newman. Newman with a strike. What a lovely goal from the Youth Academy player. And it's now 3-1 to Warsaw. Lovely layoff there by Parker into Newman. And he just uh, takes one touch and then hits it. Across the face of the keeper. Straight into the top corner. Lovely goal there. Torben Newman's first goal in the EFL League One. I think we're just going to try and see this one out now. With only a few minutes left on the clock. And that's it. The referee's blown the whistle. And it's a 3-1 victory for us on the road there. Really good result and a really good all-round performance from the uh, promoted youth and academy players. Uh, obviously, to Torben Newman getting the, all the accolades with an 8.8. .8, uh, although Parker on a 9.2 got man of the match. And yeah, as we can see, Paz with a 7.2. Peters with an 8.7, Sangar got 6.6 .6 and obviously went off, I was trying to protect him from a red card, but even so, a really good performance from the players there. As we move straight out to the training scenarios, and we're just going to have a look at re maybe replacing Cissé uh, for Jamie Hughes as we try to improve the young keeper on the run into the back end of this season. Peter's going up by one overall, and also Hughes going up by one overall. They're now on 60 and 64 respectively. Okay, so straight out to the Youth Academy. Let's have a look at how players are getting on out here. We've picked up Czech Asaro, who we are going to release. Uh, the reason we're doing it this way, we've, we've promoted him to the team and then released him, and I know that's cost us money, but the reason that we've done that is that potentially he's going to go into the regen pool now into the free agents and that means that he could potentially face us again later down the line so uh, I might do that with a few of the players uh, in the future just to see if we uh, come up against those players going forward as we move into another game here at the best Scott, and we were already 1-0 down against Bradford Doyle on the 21st minute Perk is picking up a yellow card for his troubles on the 35th but Gordon's managed to equalise and then Doyle straight away with the response so 2-1 down against Bradford at this point Martin with a yellow card now on the 72nd minute and that's the result we've lost 2-1 against Bradford at home OK, so I can see straight away here that uh, we've got nerfed by the latest patch. There's a problem that gives a minus one overall to, to players in your squad. And uh, several of the players here in the Youth Academy have been affected by that uh, nerfing. So in the last training episode, we noticed that Peters and Hughes both went up by one overall. Uh, Peter's going up to 60 and uh, Hughes up to 64 and, and they're back down by one one point already so that growth that we had uh, has already gone so yeah thanks very much EA and um, yeah I don't know what to say about it to be perfectly honest it, it's got all of these problems that we're noticing with the career mode series is having a major impact on our, our playing of the game so Anyway, if you liked the episode, there was plenty to like about the episode, aside from the nerfing. Uh, please don't forget to hit the like button, and also subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 2019 content.